When I was a kid, I developed this affinity for socks. Not just any socks. Weird, colorful, crazy socks. Let me elaborate. It all started around fifth grade when Nike released the Elite Basketball line. You remember, those colorful, cushy socks with the dash lines at the back? Yeah, those. I saw some kids wearing them at school one time, so I bought a pair. And those little pricks told me that I couldn't wear them because I wasn't an athlete like them. But I didn't give a shit. They were the comfiest pair of socks that I had ever owned at the time. And I thought they looked pretty cool too. So I bought more. That's where the obsession began. Middle school came around and the NBA had just adopted Stance as their official sock brand. Just when I thought a stupid pair of socks couldn't get any better, they did. And of course, all those douchebags were buying them. Stance had way cooler socks than Nike could ever make, with tons of cool patterns and designs. They were comfy as shit too. So I got a few pairs of those. And again, those dicks at school told me that I wasn't cool enough to wear stance socks either. So as a big fuck you, I bought as many pairs as I could afford. I started running track and cross country and I had this pair of American flag socks that I started wearing in every race, a trademark of mine, if you will. And I didn't wash them for two straight years years. What can I say? I was a skeptic. I believed that somehow there was some sort of luck in those socks. I wore them until they were ruined. And then I retired them and bought a new pair. When I got into high school, I started dating my girlfriend Maggie, and she loved socks too probably even more than I did. She had Yoda socks, socks that looked like sharks eating her legs, cat socks, knee-high rainbow socks that had individual toe holes, and her signature Walking Dead Daryl Dixon socks. Those were her lucky socks, for deadlift of course. We've kept on buying cool socks to this day. We've had to retire several pairs and lots of others got lost, but it was never a big deal for us because it was just an excuse to go buy more cool socks. People always ask me about my wild socks, and I think every pair has a unique story to tell. Over the years, I can't even begin to guess how much money I've probably spent buying cool socks. But honestly, I can say that I have no regrets. Mm -hmm. You have no regrets? My collection is great, ranging from Rick and Morty and Star Wars to Harry Potter and even my newest addition, my Swedish fish socks. I have two pairs of those. I was even really specific about what kind of boot socks I wore when I was in the army. I think all in all, my socks are a part of my character. They define my quirkiness and honestly the type of person that I am. So a question I get asked a lot is, Will I ever stop buying cool socks? And my answer is always, fuck no.